So you might be in a weird situation where your iOS updates are taking a very long time to install. Now, what does this mean? So basically, maybe you're going through a software update, you know, just on your general, just a software update right here. And the software update is either taking too long to download or you're stuck in your Apple logo and it's just stuck there for a ton of time and it's just not updating. Now, there's a few things, you know, that you kind of need to keep in mind. One, if your iPhone is currently in an update, so it's just like going through a software update and it's, you know, on the Apple logo and you see a line underneath, it's usually best to give it like 10, 20, 30 minutes sometimes, depending on the update. If your phone is a very old iPhone, it can take a longer time to, you know, install those updates, especially if it's a major software update. So if I'm going from like, if it's like a 300 megabyte update, if I'm going from like iOS 17.2 to 17.2.1, the update's not really going to take that long probably. But if I'm going from iOS 16 to iOS 17, and that update could take a very long amount of time. That's why I'd always recommend if you're going to install an update, never to install it when you're traveling or you're on the go. It's best to install it overnight when you're done and you're not using your phone. That way you can just let it sit there for hours and not have to worry about anything. So it can feel like a long time, but usually the average update can go from like five minutes all the way up to like 45 minutes. And sometimes there can be a sign at the bottom that says like, don't touch your iPhone. That's the best thing to do. When your iPhone is currently going through an update, don't start clicking on buttons. Don't start like trying to, you know, reinstall anything or whatever. Just go ahead and let your iPhone sit there. The best thing you can do is let your iPhone charge. If your iPhone is currently dying, I don't know if this is true. I've heard of some things that if your iPhone is lower than like maybe 20, 30 percent, it can take a longer time to install those updates than if it was at like 100 percent. So I'd probably recommend just charging up your iPhone and that could probably end up fixing the problem too for some people. Finally, if that's not the problem, but downloading and installing the update is the problem, go ahead and just make sure your Wi-Fi connection is, you know, good. If you have a cell connection, just make sure you have a proper Wi-Fi or cell connection of some sort, because that might end up fixing the problem for you, and that might be all you have to do here as well. So, that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.